lectins are they toxic to our bodies or not are they enemies to our health because according to social media and some professionals lectins are enemies to our health because they cause inflammation digestive issues and rest of all they can cause death in severe cases well these are what most people believe in but is there a scientific backbone to this belief or is it another social media misinformation My name is Dr. Javan Pofu and I'm a food scientist and today my goal is to guide you to make smart food choices and debunk them with around lectins. So let's get the ball rolling. Lectins are naturally found in plant-based foods but they are more prevalent in whole grains like wheat and also in legumes like soybeans, in dry beans, in peas, in lentils and other legumes that you are aware of. So think of lectins as natural defense agents in the plants. So just as we humans have antibodies to protect us against microbial infection, plants also use lectins to protect themselves against environmental stress, like from pest infection, microbial infection, or even from changes in environmental temperature. So lectins are not new, they've always been part of our food system. But the fear for lectin gained popularity when the media and some fat that practitioners labeled lectin as the main cause of malnutrition, obesity, gut illness, and also chronic inflammation. However, most of the studies that report on negative effects of lectins always use lectin isolate from the majorities of raw or good food or from whole flour from raw or good foods. Some studies report reduced absorption of lipids, proteins, and the B-complex vitamins. Now, according to these studies, this reduced absorption is because the high rates of lectins are able to induce um, bloating, small cramps, intestinal hyperplasia, and also effects like um, gut leaks. So all these effects will reduce the permeability of your small intestine and therefore reduce the ability of this nutrient to travel from the small, small intestine into your bloodstream. Some studies also report the abundant growth of harmful bacteria like E. coli in the gut after feeding mice with high dose of lectins from raw kidney beans. So these are all findings that use lectin isolate from raw or good foods. So now let's look at the science and the real life factor. These findings of our lectins are true but they do not reflect our real life dietary lifestyle where foods that contain lectins or high or are high in lectins are cooked before we eat them. Yes, lectins like fatty hemagglutinins from red kidney beans can induce just abdominal pain. They can cause agglutination and also cause death in severe cases. But this happens when you eat red kidney beans raw or you eat them undercooked. And eating red kidney beans raw or eating them undercooked, it's mostly not practical in our dietary lifestyle. So simple processing methods like soaking, and boiling, sprouting, and fermentation, and even autoclaving have been shown by studies that they reduce lectins to their non-toxic levels, making their food safe to eat and also offer additional health benefits to the consumer. So while processing, lectins are reduced to their non-toxic levels. And according to research, these new non-toxic levels are able to offer an other benefit to the body. And also, according to some research findings, at that non-toxic levels, lectins are also able to bind to carbs, which means that they may be able to delay starch digestion and possibly reduce how the body absorbs glucose and also they be able to protect or help you to manage type 2 diabetes. And some research friends are also saying that at that reduced non toxic levels, lectins may be able to protect against cardiovascular diseases. However, I want to stress that this benefit that is observed with lectins is not only because of just lectins alone, but it's because lectin containing foods also come with additional beneficial phytonutrients like fiber and protein, healthy lipids, and also and some micronutrients, okay, which all work together in a synergistic way to provide this amazing health benefit. For example, the Mediterranean diet, which is high in lectin containing foods, is one of the best diets in the world. Okay, so when you let hear anybody telling you to trust lectin containing foods, always remember that if you go to the five blue zone areas of this world, where the longest living people of this world are known to be based, they eat well processed lectin-containing foods every day. 
that's my personal take on life things. I don't think life things are aims for health. I think that they are just misunderstood, okay? So they always remember that the key here is for you to know scientific particular process, okay, before you consume letting containing foods. So you find the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section if you ever have a letting containing food. So keep making smart food choices and see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.